but what exactly is pollution? Pollution is the interruption or corruption of the natural state. Your planet exists in one natural state. It has slowly evolved and thus existed in harmony for a very long time. In a short time, humans have disrupted this and you have polluted. But you cannot kill your planet. All you can do is alter your planet. What you consider pollution and undesirable, there are others who consider desirable. Just as a weed in your garden is an undesirable plant you remove, it is like pollution to your bed of flowers. Yet an herbalist may purposefully grow that weed for its medicinal values. What is pollution to one is not pollution to another. It just depends on which environment you thrive in. On Earth at this moment, those that thrive in the environment that you consider polluted are those that you personally do not wish to have on your planet. We are speaking of the ones who prefer that your planet remain very dense and angry, unhappy frequencies. Those beings are comfortable there. So if you wish to remain in a polluted planet, then you will probably at some point find yourself becoming a demonic reptilian sort of person because otherwise you are the weed in the new environment. Does this make sense to you? If it does, we will continue. Yes. Wonderful. You have been born to a planet that was predominantly flower bed, so to speak, and you see it turning into an environment that is weeds. You either weed the garden or you become a weed lover or you pack up your bags and move to another garden. There are limited options in this scenario. But of course, your planet was a paradise before humans tainted and corrupted. As we have said before, the ancient times are returning. Since humans have created a fairly toxic environment, the ancient times that are first manifesting are those that thrive in toxic environment. If you wish to have ancient powers of love and harmonious nature, then you must create an environment that these energies would thrive in. This makes sense, we are sure. So, you look at pollution not just as the three-dimensional 
an empty beer can on the side of the highway, but understand it is everything that interrupts the natural flow of harmony on your planet. At the moment, there is much pollution. But any of you who have cleaned your house the day after a big wild party know that much pollution can be cleaned. We made that as a joke, of course, but you understand our reference. So what are other things that become polluted? You've heard of noise pollution. When you think of noise pollution, that is you are involved in a particular sound harmony and a sound that is not appropriate invades. You are on a walk in the woods and someone comes by playing loud music or a jet is flying overhead. These become the noise pollutions to you. Of course, the people in the jet are very comfortable and the person playing music thinks that this is the appropriate environment. So again, the pollution is when the sound you hear does not fit for your ambiance. So when you are in nature and you are away from what you call noise pollution, you are in the woods, on a mountain, by a lake, you hear the birds, the animals, the insects, the breeze, you hear the sounds of nature, you become attuned to it. You spend one month, two months, a year out in this nature, you become attuned to micro sounds. You can hear the individual bird whistles and know exactly what they are saying and doing where they are. And then someone brings the noise of the city to you. It is so discordant, it shakes your world, so to speak, because you cannot hear the subtleties. You lose your sense of connection with self because you have been so tapped in and this loud sound is disharmonious to you. Then you cannot function with the way you had been because of this. Just as in the opposite, you go into the city, at first it is overwhelming all the sounds and the smells, but in time you acclimate, you learn to hear the sounds of the cars, the horns, the traffic, the people. You know, you learn to understand the city sounds, you become one with the environment. But you miss the time you spend in nature, so you put on some music with ear thing, ear sticks, what you call, where you plug in and you cover your ears and you play it and you are listening to the birds. And as you are walking through your city, again, in your mind, you are in your forest, one with the nature and the birds, you can hear them. It is as though you were there and then you are hit by a car and your life is over. Because this beautiful nature sounds interrupted the harmony of your existing in the city. As beautiful as it was, it became a pollution to your ability to function in your environment. Of course, we created a harsh explanation, but we tell you pollution is merely a disruption or corruption of the energy that you are connected with. 
if you wish to be connected with healthful around the world, if you wish to heal your planet, you must have energy that people can connect with that is planetary healing energy. If you are feeling hostile towards yourself, and then you connect with planetary healing energy, you are bringing a hostile frequency to it, which pollutes the global connection. This is why we say, if you wish to heal the world, first heal yourself. And the only healing you need to do is to love yourself completely. It is not necessary to love yourself at all times, but certainly if you are connecting to a global grid of healing, to be in a complete state of love for self at that moment is relevant. Once you are done with your work, if you wish to berate yourself, you are welcome to. It is not productive, of course. So if you love, we were making jokes, of course. It is good to love yourself. Always. So if you love yourself and you send love to a global network of planetary healing, the energy reaches. Just as you think, well, I'm smoking one cigarette, it has no impact, but we know if every person on your planet stopped smoking cigarettes, your air quality would be much better. So if you, we assume you do not, but if you smoke cigarettes, and you quit smoking before you're even aware of the air quality being better, you become aware of the impact in your body. Over time, you breathe better, you feel better, your sense of smell returns. So the first thing you're doing when healing the world of cigarette smoke is to heal yourself. And then later, you notice others have also quit smoking and your workplace smells better, or cars smell better, or less people are coughing and have more energy. So for people to give up smoking cigarettes is a 3D parable of people sending love to your planet. If you sit in meditation or walk or just whatever you are doing, say at this moment, I love myself and I invite my love to connect with planetary love. I send my love out. You think you don't have an effect because you are only one, but then 100, 1,000, 1 million, 1 billion people do it, the effect is felt more and more keenly. You may not feel the effect so much, but those who have been working for a very long time on planetary healing do feel the effect even of the one and they utilize it. Does this make sense to you? Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. So we invite you to fill yourself with love 
when you send it to those who can use it, you may do this general, or you may do specific targets. You may also give it to your soul to send to others who are on earth from their souls. Fill yourself with human love. Send it to your soul and say, you send it forward. They send it to other souls who send it down to the living aspects. This is a very powerful technique. Or if you send directly to someone who is of corrupt nature, they have barricades against you. When it comes directly down from their soul, they have less resistance. Question? Yes. How does this differ from sending love over your love mandala? It is the same, absolutely the same, just a different target. Okay. That is an excellent question.